Hey there, welcome to my channel, Technology Talks. The latest rumors and tech advancements came. It's truly fascinating to speculate about Apple's upcoming iPhone. What exciting features and improvements do they have in store for us? Also, let's not overlook Keeper Security's innovative approach to password management. Online safety is paramount and I'm eager to learn more about their product. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Is the iconic iPhone facing its demiss? The numbers paint a grim picture with a staggering 10% drop in iPhone shipments last quarter and declining sales in the lucrative Chinese market. Even Apple's stock is feeling the heat. As a self-professed Apple lover, it pains me to admit that the iPhone is in a rut. From exorbitant pricing to a lack of compelling features, there are plenty of reasons behind its downward spiral. Reflecting on recent history, the iPhone X in 2017 and the more recent iPhone 12 lineup stand out as noteworthy milestones. So what's the game plan for the iPhone 16? Apple needs to pull out all the stops to recapture consumers' hearts and wallets. First up, let's talk design. While the iPhone's performance and camera capabilities are top-notch, it's high time for a visual revamp. Think outside the box, perhaps an iPhone flip or fold, or even a sleeker, more compact Pro Mini model. The sky's the limit, but whatever Apple decides, it must marry form and function seamlessly. Moving on to features, it's clear that Apple needs to up its game. Siri, Apple's digital assistant, is due for a major makeover. While recent forays into AI and machine learning are promising, there's still room for improvement. Take a page from Google's playbook with their Magic Eraser feature, innovative, practical, and exclusive to their flagship Pixel line. Let's not forget about security. Apple's built-in password manager leaves much to be desired, which is why Keeper Security swoops in as our knight in shining encryption. Now onto the piece de resistance, the concept of an ultra iPhone. Picture this, a flagship powerhouse catered to tech connoisseurs equipped with every cutting edge feature imaginable. It may sound like a pipe dream, but in today's tech landscape, nothing is off the table. But here's the kicker. Apple needs to start listening to its customers. Remember the MacBook with no fan or the infamous butterfly keyboard fiasco? These missteps could have been avoided with a keen ear to consumer feedback. It's time for Apple to prioritize the wants and needs of its user base. I completely understand your concern about the accessibility of affordable smartphones, especially considering the current market scenario. While the iPhone Southeast is a great option for budget-friendly users, I agree that there is a need for a sub-$300 iPhone to cater to a larger audience. Hopefully, we will see such a device in the future that can help bridge this gap and make technology more accessible to everyone. By bridging this gap, Apple could tap into new demographics and breathe new life into its sales figures. In conclusion, the iPhone's fate hangs in the balance. Will Apple rise to the occasion and deliver a game-changing iPhone 16? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain, innovation, customer feedback, and affordability will be the cornerstones of Apple's redemption arc. What are your thoughts? Is the iPhone losing its luster or is there a silver lining amidst the data and gloom? Sound off in the comments below and don't forget to press the bell icon for updates. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.